make this week's version of MTN Game Changers. Check it out. At number five, college men's wrestling. Warner Pacific College visiting the University of Providence. Redshirt sophomore Jaron Comack got off to a slow start and fell behind six to nothing early in his 141 match against Zach Sias. But in the second period, Comack turned it on. Without letting his opponent up, he earned two straight four point near falls before finally completing the pin in a huge win by fall for the Argos. At number four, N83HL hockey. Great Falls Americans versus the Missoula Bruins. On the power play, watch Trent Cowden's blue line shot get deflected into the top corner of the goal by goalie Kyler Mack. Clutch goal there, but the Bruins get the last laugh at the end with the win. At number three, the brawl of the wild, Montana versus Montana State. Third and long for the Cats, and it's a handoff to Nick Lassane here, and he finds a hole and he's gone. He takes it 71 yards to the house. As a team, Montana State racked up 322 rushing yards on the day and four touchdowns in a huge 31 to 23 win to boot the Grizz out of the playoffs. At number two, double A state championship between Helena and Billings Sr. Caleb Winterburn looking over the middle here for Zach Huth in the end zone, but Bronx superstar Gabe Solcer stretches and dives in front of the ball for the great interception. Sr. gets the win and gets back to back state titles. At number one, six men championship game between Westby Granora and Bridger. Coulter Zentner scrambling around and looking to pass here. He finally throws off his back foot, but look at the great one handed snag by Jeremiah Payne for the interception. Fancy play there from the big quarterback. Westby Granora gets the win in the first ever state title in program history.